the political issue that's of a real concern to us going forward is the Bush era tax cuts and whether or not some action takes place during the second half of this year to deal with the, those tax cuts. Now, you have to remember those tax cuts will expire on December 31st um, if nothing is done. So there's kind of a sunset law on those. The problem with that is that while everybody is focusing on the top 1% and the taxes they pay, what is not really being made very clear to the American public is the impact that Bush tax cuts have on lower income people and lower middle and middle income people. I'll give you two a couple examples. One is that right now for uh, lower middle income people, uh, there's a 10%, the, the, the first marginal rate you run into is a 10% rate. Um, and that's going to increase to 15% if the Bush tax cuts go away. And so that's going to be, you know, a, a chunk of change, 5% additional in taxes for lower income people. Uh, the next group of people to be affected are the, the middle income people um, with taxable incomes above about 68, 69,000. And their current tax rate now is 25%, and that'll rise to 27% unless those tax cuts are continued. Now, to put that in perspective, um, at the same time that those tax cuts would expire if nothing is done, in addition, there'll be uh, the expiration uh, of the Social Security 2% tax holiday that we've had last year and 2012. So, you know, all together, uh, average you know, middle income people could be, could be facing 4% increase in their tax rate. So it could go from, you know, essentially 25% marginal rate plus the 5.65% uh, uh, of the current uh, Social Security and Medicare tax to, so to combine that's right over 30%, that could go up by uh, about 4% to about 34% if nothing is done on the tax front. So that's something that's, uh, that, that to me is a concern if the politicians can't get together. That's the biggest political issue going forward.